Hello my friends, welcome back to the flight deck. Today, one of my favorite topics, building little micro quads. The only tool that you absolutely need to build one of these kits is a screwdriver. I'm a little obsessed with screwdrivers, so I bought this one here recently, a ES120. Oops, it's a little windy today. This screwdriver here has a motion sensor and it will basically amplify your screwing motion. You just need to turn it a little bit and the tip will spin in that direction. It charges over USB and you can swap the tip out. To assemble the kit you will want a very very small Phillips bit or driver. Before I get to the screwing though, let's prepare the motors. I also have a little motor fetish, so what I like to do before I start putting the motors into the frames is rolling up, twisting up the wires. It just makes the installation a lot neater. So. I'll take out all the motors that I need for one set of builds and then yeah, let me weigh down the stuff here and then twist them up, clamp them with the pinky and roll the motor until the wires are twisted up as tight as possible. When they start folding extra loops then it's too tight, just so that they are twisted up once. See that reduces the length of the wires quite a bit, which makes the installation a bit neater. The complete build process of the four quads took me around 40 minutes, just speeding up the most boring parts for you. If you look at the frames, this bulky part here with the LED slot, that's the back. From this orientation you want to install black and white counterclockwise motors in the front left and in the rear right. Support the struts connecting the motor mounts to the ducts with the fingers of one hand and then push in the motor with the other. Blue and red clockwise motors then obviously go to the front right and to the rear left. Note that this is opposite to the better flight default motor configuration. We'll talk about that later in the flight controller configuration instructional video. By the way, I like my motors installed with the engraving to the outside. Not sure if that shows up on the video, but that's how I like it. And motor cables need to come out on the inside. These are the 65S frames from Better FPV. Red is a version 3 and blue is a version 2. I've heard there will be a version 4 very soon. For the final version of the kits, all four frames will be of the same mold. Currently, the blue one is the only different one. Version 3 has a few more reinforcements between the ducts, and in general, the plastic feels stiffer, breaks a lot less. The battery mount on the V3 hangs a little lower. Some people don't like it. I think it's okay. Once you have the motors installed into the frames, you can start installing the electronics. All my previous builds required some sort of soldering. This is the first one 
that is literally plug and play. Although it's not as easy as I would like to see it, but yeah, we'll get to that in a second. Basically, you just have to put these little rubber grommets into the cutouts on each corner of the flight controller and then screw the whole contraption onto the frame. What's up, dude? <laughs> so, in case you don't speak German, my son just said that he's going to play on the street with his friends and he'll be back in 58 minutes. In the meantime, I'll show you the minor problem that these kids still have. And that is, it's almost impossible to get this front screw in here because the camera's in the way of my screwdriver. Now, it's possible with a very slim screwdriver to get it in there anyway, but I'll show you the alternative way of assembling that kit. It is quite easy to remove the camera, including the mount, from the flight controller. Just take a little screwdriver, push the pins out, and you can remove it. And see those pins line up with little pin connectors on the flight controller. And then you can screw the flight controller onto the frame with only two screws, and then you can reinsert the camera into the connector and screw in the remaining two screws. Once you have screwed all the flight controllers and cameras onto the frames, there's one task left to do, which might require an additional little tool. I like to use a pair of micro forceps for this job. They're used in hospitals to clamp blood vessels for surgery. And yeah, they help big times if you have fat fingers to feed little wires through tiny holes and align the wires on these little builds so that they don't get in the way. Last step to complete the physical part of the build is to install the propellers. Clockwise propellers go on red blue wired motors, in this case the front right and the rear left. I like to push on the propellers just lightly, just so that they stay in place. And once I have all four in place, I take the quad and push it against an edge. I usually use the edge of the table for that. 
and um, yeah that allows me to keep it straight and avoid any damage to the frame or to the propellers while pushing them in. As I said in the beginning of this video, building these four quads took me around 40 minutes in total, so around 10 minutes per quad. I think there's a little bit of room for improvement left, but yeah, that's what I would suggest is the expected time frame to build one of those. 10 minutes and you get it all nicely done, wires aligned nicely and have taken the appropriate amount of care to make sure the physical part of this build is done as good as you can. That's it for this video. In the next one I will probably talk about alternatives to the stuffed lunchboxes, as in screens and receivers. So if you like this video, if you've learned something or if you have something to say, please come down into the comment section and leave me with your comment. I read them all. Before I turn the camera off, shout out to the low voltage club. I'm going to have another little walk down into the yard and show you some footage of my professional pilots in the jungle. Thanks for hanging around with me. I see you in the next video.